Hello, my dear students. Welcome to this very important session. And I'm sure that many of you might be having certain doubts that what could be really the advantage with the gate preparation. <clears throat> and many students have a very wrong conception that you know gate is only meant for you know certain advantages like doing masters in IIT or NIT like that. But apart from that, there are so many other advantages. So this video will give you a clear idea. Okay, what are the various other advantages apart from getting an admission into IIT or NIT? Okay, so the topic is advantages with gate preparation. Okay, now look at this. The first advantage, if you see. All of us know very well that to do MTech or MS by research or direct PhD in India. Yes, definitely if you want to do your MTech or MS by research or direct PhD, because these three programs are offered by IITs, IIS Bangalore, topmost premier institutions in India, triple IITs are offering the programs based on only gate score. And then you already know that GATE syllabus includes what technical aptitude English, technical 85 marks and aptitude in English 15 marks British. Technical includes what 9 to 10 subjects depending on the specialization, 9 to 10 subjects including engineering mathematics of your uh, core engineering subjects. So GATE is all about technical aptitude English. Understand? Okay. Now, once you get a better score, or very good score in the gate based on which you're offered either MTech or MS by research or direct PhD based on your interest. You can apply to the premier institutions. You, can, you may get the admission into the premier institution. This every one of us know very well, no doubt in that. Okay. Second most advantage, this also many of the people know about it. Look at this, the public sector companies. Nowadays, most of the people are writing the gate examination for the sake of government companies, jobs in government companies. Because you might be aware that there are 200 plus government companies in our country, central government companies, and many more state government companies. And out of which 60 government companies are approximately 60 plus government companies or around 60 government companies are taking through only GATE. GATE is the only selection criteria, no other criteria. But what about the remaining government companies? The remaining government companies are recruiting by conducting an exam in their own style separately. For example, Bharat Electronics Limited, national level exam it is conducting as on today, but tomorrow we don't know. It may be also inviting only gate aspirants. We don't know, but as of now or as on today, they are offering the jobs only by conducting a written test of national level. Syllabus you see, same as gate syllabus, same technical aptitude English. The standard of the paper is almost at same level of gate or below the level of gate. Therefore, you need to understand the remaining government companies, if you want to even crack, gate preparation will certainly help you a lot. Understand all of you, okay? The syllabus of that other public sector companies which are actually not taking through gate, but Conducting a separate exam is again includes a technical aptitude English, which is same as here in the GATE syllabus. Understand all of you, okay? So, students, if you are really a government job aspirant, by default, you are an aspirant of K. No doubt in that, okay? Now, coming to the private sector core companies, because so many companies are available, more than 1,000 plus in each and every specialization. EC 1000 plus companies, mechanical 1000 plus companies, civil similarly, electrical similarly, instrumentation like that you have very good companies. Computer science, product based companies, you got product based companies which are offering higher amount of salaries. But remember, are they really coming to the private engineering colleges? They, all these companies, you know, are visiting only the premier institutions like IITs, NITs, or university colleges. But most of the private engineering college students are really missing this opportunity to face the core companies. 
remember to really get into these core companies there are two op options you have one is cracking this gate and getting an admission in iits or nits in any of these three courses mtech or ms there is also direct phd during mtech third semester or fourth semester the companies are coming to the campus and recruiting the students minimum 6 lakhs package maximum 30 to 4 35 lakhs package average package of 9.5 lakhs package recently one article was published in uh, one of the reputed uh, newspapers hindustan times that the students of post graduation in the premier institutions are getting wonderful placement opportunities hope you understand with this information that you people should target the core companies only possible if you are targeting core companies it is possible only through gate preparation join them and i'm sure that you are going to get it okay and one more important thing that even if you join mtech in premier institution when the company comes they never ask in the written test you know the mtech syllabus the mtech syllabus is not asked what is asked again again the same technical of btech syllabus gate syllabus not all subjects of gate but few depending on the specialization for example intel company is coming it is very particular about edc analog circuits digital microprocessors network theory what are the subjects actually are they really mtech syllabus no they are all btech syllabus so hope you understand that preparation will help you not only in get preparation but also after getting into iit during the placements will also be helpful of course apart from that you require c language math lab preparation you know vhdl coding microcontrollers microprocessors coding part so many other things are required but these are also very very important understand all of you okay for mechanical also tool design companies will come and recruit strength of materials design machines machine design strength of materials engineering mechanics apart from that again proe ansi c cad cad cam all these are important so this technical part is approximately 40 to 50% of your gate syllabus depending on the company profile they will pick the subjects understand all of you okay so here also it is useful sir i i if i don't get a very good gate rank is it possible for me to get a you know job in the company through off campus is quite possible is quite possible how it is yes if you go through the job portals like timejobs.com naukri.com freshersworld.com monster.com there are so many other job portals are available where all these companies are posting publishing the number of vacancies and based on which the students are actually finding and uploading the resume once you upload your resume with the minimum 60 percentage then least bothered with academic percentage if you have 80 90 well and good but even if you do not have that don't worry that will not be a serious criteria for them for them the serious criteria is written test most importantly technical round if you through that technical round you are that's it you you won the game that's all but whether it is on campus or off campus okay whether it is through mtech or btech whether it is directly the companies are coming to the campus or else you are actually approaching through job portals the written test syllabus never changes the technical interview strategy never changes everything is same therefore you need to understand even the private sector most of the people are not aware and they simply depending on you know only it service based companies okay but you should also look into you know these private core companies seriously you have n number of vacancies only thing you have to meet their expectation so what i conclude at this particular point is that this technical apt english since they're all part and part of gate syllabus i recommend all the students even if you're not serious about your mtech admission iit but if you're serious about a job because ultimately job is important whether directly job or after mtech job therefore i recommend all the students to start their preparation for gate and get command over the technical stuff apart from the technical stuff you require some other things like c data structures i mean c language critical coding for embedded system companies and uh, for uh, you know mechanical students you know uh, 
uh, ANSYS PROE and other tool design uh, tools are important here. Therefore, not only this stuff, but other stuff are also very important to face the companies. Understand all of you, okay? Now, another important, the fourth most important advantage. Singapore and German universities are accepting the GATE score. They're giving a special importance to the GATE rankers and GATE scores. German universities are accepting the GATE score. Singapore University, number one university in Asia, National University of Singapore, NTU, Nanjing Technological University, recently Narendra Modi went and conducted a very big public meeting and interacted with all scholars and other eminent personalities at NTU, Nanjing Technological University, Asia number two university. The standard of education is very, very high and even above our IITs. And those people are accepting the GATE score. Do not forget that. You understand all of you? They are, of course take through GRE TOEFL, but even in place of GRE, they are also accepting the GATE score. Hope you understand the point. Okay? So this is another important advantage. Fifth most important is, it's not only getting into core company, it is not only getting into public sector companies, it's not only just for, you know, getting into IIT or NIT, but also it's a great opportunity through gate preparation that you will get fundamentals a very, very strong base, I'm telling you. You get an opportunity to strengthen your fundamentals. Sir, what will I do if I just strengthen my fundamentals? I'm interested in USA and UK, Germany and other places. Yes, of course. But even if you go there, your entrance criteria to get into the top, top um, in foreign universities might be GRE TOEFL. But once you get an admission in the university, how do you get the stipend? How do you get the placements within the campus? Do you think that a company like, let us say, General Electricals and Hyundai Motors, Tata Motors, or else, let us say, Qualcomm, topmost companies, Intel, do you think that all these companies, uh, they recruit in a different way? I mean, when they come to India and when they go to abroad, when they go abroad, do you think that there is a discrimination here in the recruitment process? Never. You go US, you go to India, obviously the recruitment style is same, the written test is same, the interviews is same, everything is same. The recruitment strategy never changes. The company never changes, whether it's an abroad or India, it doesn't matter. So what I mean to say is, these private core companies, the multinational companies in abroad, if you really want to get into them, because they're highly secure jobs and very good payment they're going to offer, I'm sure your preparation for GATE is very important. Sir, I want to prepare for uh, GRE TOEFL and get an admission in university. Yes, you do. But at the same time, you also prepare for GATE. Because even after going there, you need to face the written test conducted by the company, any multinational company within the campus. Again, you will get the same syllabus of GATE or 40 to 50 percent common to the GATE based on the company's profile. You understand all of you. But most of the Indians are, you know, very, very, you know, hasty in reaching the U.S. without holding the fundamentals, strong hold on the fundamentals. They just fly off. And they complete their MS, no doubt in that they get some CGP or whatever. But after that, getting a job is found to be very, very difficult for all these people. Because they don't really have a command on the, you know, subjects, engineering subjects. Whereas the companies will test only the fundamentals in the subject. So that is why, you know, I strongly recommend all the students to start the preparation irrespective of the goal. During third year, first semester, you start it wind up in second semester ending in fourth year anyway those who are interested in India stay back in India you can continue your preparation for revision practice so much of question bank but those who are not interested in India but going abroad then they can start the preparation for GRE or TOEFL or IELTS or whatever so already in third year you have strengthened your fundamentals and fourth year you are meeting the criteria of the universities just imagine criteria is met fundamentals enhanced wherever you go nook and corner of the world your performance is going to be fabulous and you will be winning every interview and written test part conducted by the multinational companies hope you got a clear idea about all this okay thank you so much for patient listening and wish you all the best for future future endeavors and start your preparation as early as possible and 
third year first semester is always the best time to start your preparation do not neglect your career okay thank you and wish you all the best